Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock starts now. And tonight at 6, a grandmother hopes police can find who fired countless rounds of bullets into her home, sending her family running for cover. The family lives on the east side of Indianapolis, and one of those bullets struck one of the grandchildren. Crime Beat reporter Steve Jefferson shows us some of the bullets that they still are finding in their house. That grandmother lives in this block of Graydon Street, and she's still fearful of what could happen to her family. So she's hoping police can find the person who shot up her house. A worried grandmother who didn't want her face shown on television did show eyewitness news some of the bullets fired into her home. It happened Wednesday night around 7 o'clock. While taking cover, a bullet struck her 25-year-old grandson in the lower leg. One of the three spent rounds left this hole visible from the front porch. That same bullet just missed her inside where she sat on the couch. She found one of the other three bullets upstairs in the bedroom where her grandchildren play inside. The grandmother says Metro police officers collected several other bullets from the house too. She told Eyewitness News there were so many shots fired she lost count. Police believe the shooting stems from the grandson confronting his cousin and sister. That confrontation happened outside a suspected drug house somewhere in the 300 block of Leeds Avenue. Now police are trying to locate not only who shot up the grandmother's home, but who also shot her grandson. If you have any information that could help in this case, you can call Crime Stoppers anonymously and earn a cash reward. That telephone number is 262 TIPS. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson.